Saberforge sells six categories of lightsabers. Apprentice, Shoto, Elite, Exotic, Crystal, and Legacy. Let's go over what each of those terms means. So the Apprentice Sabers are kind of the entry-level saber by Saberforge. They're decent designs, but they're relatively basic, and the price is also pretty attractive, so it could be a good starter saber. They do have quite a variety of different designs available in the Apprentice category as well. Shoto Sabers are based on Apprentice Sabers, but they're a bit shorter, so they're intended to be a one-handed lightsaber, or they could also work really well with a kid, you know, because kids have smaller hands. So that's kind of the purpose of Shoto Sabers, and they're also a bit cheaper than the Apprentice Sabers. Moving on to the Elite Sabers. So the Elite Sabers are more elaborate than the Apprentice Sabers. They're also more expensive, obviously. And that's the category of lightsabers where you'll find some designs that look pretty similar to some movie hilts. And they're not officially copying the movie hilts, but they look awfully similar. <laughs> so that's where you'll find them. Exotic sabers are kind of the unconventional saber designs. So like there's an axe in that category and there's also two models of crossguard sabers. So it's just, you know, different from your standard lightsaber like this. Next up is the crystal sabers. So crystal sabers are kind of more elaborate designs of elite sabers that include a crystal chamber. So some people really enjoy having kind of a crystal chamber reveal in a lightsaber hilt, and that's what this category is for. So that means that these hilts in this category are not quite as durable, like it's not maybe as good of an idea for you to duel with a crystal saber. It's not just designed, you know, to take a beating as much as some of the other sabers. It, you know, you can still do some light dueling with it, but you probably wouldn't, wouldn't want to, you know, go too crazy with that. Finally, legacy sabers are highly customized sabers, and so they're very ornate and elaborate. And again, you probably wouldn't want to do heavy dueling with them and they're going to cost you more money and they take more time for Saber Forge to process an order. So a legacy Saber, Saber Forge says, you know, takes maybe 8 to 12 weeks to process that order before it ships just since it's highly customized. So that's kind of all of the categories in a nutshell. Again, it's Apprentice, Shoto, Elite, Exotic, Crystal, and Legacy.